Okay, class, we're going to be talking about Chapter 1, Part 1, Law and Legal Reasoning. So first of all, we're going to talk about what the functions of the law are. Um, the functions of the law are to provide stability in society, to make things calm and peaceful and remain stable, um, to give us predictability so that we know what we can do and what we can't do and what the consequences of what we do are. And continuity uh, so that it continues um, without um, being changed in a way that would affect us negatively. Um, another way of looking at it is so that people will know how to order their affairs. So what are some of the functions of the law? So these are some of the functions of the law. We, the law is there to keep the peace. Um, in tribal times, we had tribes that would have problems with each other. Um, for example, if one tribe's person killed somebody from the other tribe, the way in which they resolved it was an eye for an eye. The other person would, from the other tribe would kill that person, somebody from the other tribe. Um, and of course, you've heard the old saying that eventually um, there would be nobody left um, or that everybody would have their eyes gone. Um, so the law helps us to keep the peace by giving us a way of resolving conflict. Um, it helps to shape moral standards. Um, so, um, for example, um, a moral standard of um, homosexual or gay marriage. The law has helped shape that by making it legal um, so that for a lot of people um, who formerly may have thought it was immoral, um, the law has maybe reshaped their thinking. It promotes social justice. Um, so hopefully the law, um, as we saw in the civil rights movement, and as hopefully is happening today a little bit, um, will promote social justice. It helps to maintain the status quo, not to change um, just for the sake of change or to cause change that causes chaos or any problems like that. Um, but it also um, helps facilitate orderly change. So while it maintains the status quo, it also says, well, the status quo is not um, by itself uh, going to uh, stay always. We have to um, have change, but we want our change to be peaceful. We want it to be um, uh, facilitated in a way that it's orderly um, so that there's no um, undue problems caused by it. It helps us to facilitate planning. So when the law changes, um, uh, we are given advance notice and we know how to plan um, for that type of situation. It provides a uh, basis for compromise. Um, so uh, lots of times when we end up in court, um, the judge will say, well, this is what the law is, and that will make the people who are adverse to each other or who have brought lawsuits against one another rethink their positions and perhaps compromise and reach a solution. Um, and then it maximizes individual freedom, um, particularly laws like in our Constitution where we uh, see things like freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, um, uh, freedom from unreasonable searches. Those are kinds of things that maximize individual freedom. Now, as we saw in the previous video, the law uh, permeates our society um, everywhere we go, um, in business uh, in particular. Uh, we have to be aware of all the laws and regulations in order to follow them and not get into trouble. Um, so good to make good business decisions, a basic knowledge of the laws is essential. Um, laws and regulations governing those business activities. Um, and um, any one decision that you confront in a business situation may require you um, to uh, look at different laws um, that may apply to that given situation. Okay, so we define law as that which must be obeyed and followed by citizens subject to sanctions and legal consequences. Um, it's a body of rules of action or conduct prescribed by controlling authority and having binding legal force. Um, and it consists of enforceable rules governing 
relationships between individuals and their society. Another way of looking at laws sometimes is this way. This is something that I add because um, it's something that I think of. Um, and that is that it's a compromise between competing interests. That's probably the most uh, difficult one to think about in our mind because it's not something we ordinarily call up in our mind. But what I mean by this is most laws today are statutory laws. They're made by legislative bodies. And when legislators make laws, um, it's usually a result of a compromise. Um, there are people that feel one way, people that feel another way. They reach some sort of compromise. Um, so even though laws, we hope, reflect morals, reflect right and wrong, um, those kind of things, in fact, um, they also are a result of compromise.